okay what's up y'all welcome or welcome back to another video <laughs> i haven't filmed a long video since january who am i who am i who am i but it's been long enough it's almost september and it's time to get in my bag and in my content content bag because i've been in my bag on tiktok been in my bag on instagram been in my bag in youtube shorts but not long form videos on YouTube. So we're back. And we're just going to do a little get ready with me and all the things. Just talk, catch up, all of that. Because I'm in a new era. And I want to bring y'all along for the new era. Because your girl is almost 30. In my head, I'm already 30. Even though I'm really not. But I am. So it's time to get my life together. And I'm going to document the whole journey. And I'm going to bring y'all along. Because it's time. It's time. It's time. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to do my hair and makeup. I'm actually going to try a new trick. And y'all going to see it live because the girlies are saying to get in the shower after you do your makeup. So, that's what I'm going to do. As you see, I have gym clothes on because I did just leave the gym. I did just wash my face and put more sunscreen on before I do my makeup because I was sweaty at the gym. So, yeah, I am about to wrap my hair. I have mini twists in right now, which I love mini twists so bad, but I'm going to... Next, you rock my mini twist, and then I'm gonna do my makeup, shower, pick an outfit, and we're just gonna talk, okay? Okay. So, first of all, I'm gonna do my hair first because I want my hair to be set. Um, and I'm gonna keep it in the half up, half down. I'm just gonna use the dough mousse, I think it's called dough mousse, whatever, and just wrap my ends of my twist up. So, I got some longer ones and some shorter ones. It really don't matter which one I use. Um, I think I'm just going to make this one just like that. So, yeah. I'm not going to use a lot of this mousse because I don't want it to make my hair sticky. Because, in my opinion, this is really sticky. But, yeah, I'm just going to do the ends, the curls. As soon as I put that on, yeah, don't sleep on this mousse now. I will tell y'all that. And I'm just going to wrap it really not even do anything or going anywhere for real for real i just want to get myself together more often like it's time out to be looking like a bum out in public i need to find my husband and i can't find my husband if i'm always looking like a bum or if i don't ever go anywhere like i can't just be sitting in the house so i'm making it a priority for the rest of this year and for till i find my husband <laughs> i'm not doing this to find a husband by the way don't do that that. but until i feel like i am set in life in all the ways i'm going to prioritize going out looking like something when i'm going out in public because girl you can't look like a bum all the time because i'm known for throwing on some sweats and a raggedy graphic and i'm out the door but it's time out for that so this is an attempt to get my life together in all the things. One thing I do love about this new era I'm in, I love my natural hair. Like, so, so bad, y'all. I'm so in love with trying new things on my hair. Like, who would have thought to throw flexi rods on your mini twist? I've actually never seen anyone do this. But I look at my mini twists as if they are locked. Because honestly, if I keep me in long enough, they will lock up. I do have type 4 hair, okay, at the end of the day. But no, I'm not doing this. Okay, yeah. I'm not doing this because I'm going anywhere special or anything like that. It's literally for myself. And that's it. So I'm going to do really, really light makeup, but still beats, okay? Um concealer and all the things definitely gotta do my brows because baby it's time for them to get waxed i just need to set an appointment honestly there's none no other reason besides i just need to make an appointment which i am going to do that probably today because baby these ain't ain't looking good at all i do still use a brow pencil i know the girlies don't but Nothing would ever make me stop using a brow pencil. Honestly, I need some more makeup products. Um, so if I do go, just want to take y'all with me. 
Um, cause yeah, this is empty. But I haven't, I haven't bought makeup in so long, y'all. I like honestly, I strayed away from makeup because I I got a neck that I don't need makeup mode, which I don't. I still don't need makeup. Don't get me wrong. But I don't know. I just feel like I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I'm not seeing people. So why do I have to put makeup on? But honestly, girl, put some makeup on your face. <laughs> not to say that anybody needs it. Nobody needs makeup. I hate that rhetoric. Like, oh, I don't need makeup. I just need some lashes. No. Cover your face, honestly. Make your skin look good. Like, it's okay to get cute. Like, it's okay to be out in public doing your errands and having a face on like you don't need a special occasion to wear makeup and that was my problem i thought i need a special occasion to wear makeup and i just honestly don't i can take myself out to eat and put on makeup in an outfit and look cute like i do not have to wait on a person a place or a thing to get myself together and that's what I'm trying to, I guess, unlearn. Because for some reason, I think, oh, I'm not going anywhere special. I'm just going to get food. I don't need makeup. Like, girl, how do you expect to find your husband if you're out here looking crazy? Because sometimes I go out, my hair is looking crazy. Like, hair look crazy. Face look crazy, look dry and dusty, like, no. Also, if y'all hear that noise, it is my washing machine going crazy. I, I hate my eyebrows to be wet because I feel like my brows don't come out nice. Like, they come out so bushy. I grow hair on my eyebrows so thick. I grow hair thick everywhere, hence my head. <laughs> like I have thick hair in everywhere, like my arms, child. But my eyebrows is the most noticeable when it's time to, yeah, fix that. And I hate it because I feel like when I do my brows, it don't come out sharp. Like I be wanting it to, but I be having to live with it because honestly, if you're in my face that heavy, you need to back up. Nobody should be in my face that wild. Plus, I wear shades most of the time anyways. Um, obsessed with Lorve, L-O-R-V-A-E. Come here, pair of two. Like, she paying me to say it. Like, come on, come on, come on. Anyways, um, I missed the first step on my makeup because I rushed to do my brows, but... Primer, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, girl. I got this. All right, man. All right, man. I got this for free uh, for my birthday in Ultra. It was part of their birthday gift thing, and this is what I tried, and it is so worth the hype. I am in this era. I'm investing into myself. I'm investing into my looks all over. Whether it's my hair, my face, my makeup, my clothing. I am investing in myself. Because if I don't, who will? No one. No one. <laughs> so I do have to invest into myself. Um, and that's another thing that I work, I didn't do before. Like I didn't care to buy or spend money on certain things. But like, no. Spend the money, buy the clothes, buy the nice makeup. Like this, again, empty. Another one of my Sephora concealers. I haven't bought this concealer in probably two years. Like, it was probably since my last birthday when I went and bought this concealer. And it's only like $14 if they haven't gone up because, you know, that way price is looking. It was only like $14. So, like, girl. I've had $14 to go buy some more of this concealer. I just haven't. But again, I'm back into my bag of like putting myself together. And it's going to start with me going out today and investing in my makeup. Because it's time to invest in makeup. 
again i used to spend so much money on makeup and then boom i fell off <laughs> like girl i've been trying this new makeup technique where they put on their concealer first and then put foundation over it i did it a couple days ago and it was so cute but only under my under eye also i no longer use a blender brush to put on my concealer i now use a different brush which i don't even know which one i used last time probably this one but the brush works so much better than the uh sponges i use sponge for i use a sponge for kylie girl powder i use sponge for powder but as far as the ash concealer i rather use a brush it blends so much better in my opinion so yeah also i've been obsessed with this morphe i've been so obsessed with this morphe um foundation but i'm actually gonna go in with my milani foundation this is what my mother called me <laughs> anyways so i just put that con milani concealer foundation on and it looks it makes my skin look so good it honestly blends it's like the perfect color match i love that stuff i just don't use it as much because i've been obsessed with this morphe foundation but that's neither here nor there. I also just bought the Morphe Foundation um, in January. That's the last time I bought any makeup. It was in January for my birthday, as you can tell. Um, yeah, it's been working out. So now I'm just gonna blend this in. Not only am I investing in myself and investing in making myself look good and feeling good always, not worrying about other people's opinion because that that's a big thing for me i always care what other people think and i just can no longer afford to do that because it ruins my day literally um i'm also investing in god i am very 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 close to god right now um i still don't really go to church um, I'm okay without the church house itself. That's another conversation for another day. But, um, as far as me and God, we locked in. We locked in real bad. Me and God, God is very locked in. Um, I make sure to read my Bible. I pray as often as I, well, I try to pray as often as I can. Um, not to say I don't miss a couple of nights, um, because I definitely do. Sometimes I'm just so tired, but even when I'm the tiredest, I still try to get into my Bible because it's only fair to God to still talk to him, be with him, and that's something I'm also learning. So while I'm investing in myself, I'm investing to him because who better else to go along with the journey with than God? You feel me? Like that's just how I look at it. So I'm gonna always be locked in with that man, with that man above. Um, I don't remember what this brand is called, but this loose setting powder, I got this from Target again, probably two years ago. The last time I really like, you know, been out. <laughs> um, again for my birthday, I bought this right before my birthday trip. If not two years ago, probably three years ago. Um, uh, and I love this stuff. I'm actually finally about to run out, so. It's time to buy some more of this as well, but, you know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. My biggest thing, I'm going to buy clothes first before I buy anything else. Also, this is the same brand from Target, and I use this contour right here. As you can see, I'm about to hit pan. I love this stuff. Absolutely love this stuff. I love the body, my face. A thing I've been in love with is blush, and I actually need to go buy some blush today. This is actually a lipstick from Shein. When Shein first came out with makeup, I got this, and I just put a little bit on my cheeks. I did this for the first time, uh, the last time I did my makeup, and it came out so good. So, of course, I have to try it again. 
my I don't think it says pigmented enough for me to only use this so I am going to go back over it but the other the other brush that I have it is it's gone like I I've used it all because I've been such a big blush girl like oh my god I didn't know blush can look good on me but it does blush is my thing. I don't think about this lipstick using it as blush, baby. It takes forever to blend out. But that's okay because it makes it look so good. Um, and then I'm just gonna go on with my NYX blush. This is the color Citrine Rose. And listen, what is in here? Nothing, 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 nothing's in here. Nothing. And that's probably too much, <laughs> but <laughs> I love blush, y'all. Oh my gosh, I have big cheeks, so putting on blush on top of the big cheeks, it just looks so good. And then with the contour, and the <laughs> ah, it looks so good, y'all. My brows look so bad. I'm so I'm so sorry. My brows look terrible, actually. Now, I'm not going to go in with mascara. Obviously, I'm not doing eyeshadow. If I was going to do eyeshadow, I would do that first. And I'm going to go in with some highlight using that same palette. Um, I don't think this highlight shows up a lot, but I used to be such a highlight person like back in 2017, 18. I used to sprinkle my face and highlight ColourPop had me in a chokehold but now i'm less of a highlight person which i think the whole makeup world is less of a highlight person i don't see people use as much highlight anymore but i am gonna add something it's very bright and sunny outside so i think i'm gonna take some selfies today because my face is the highlight of the show and then i'm just gonna go with the dewey's setting mist by elf i love this stuff just bring it together like i don't like a matte face my skin itself is already dry so putting on matte makeup on top of that just no i don't use matte foundations i don't use matte concealers the only thing matte i use is that um that blush the blush is very matte as you can tell but i just fix that up with a little bit of setting this and we're straight um yeah now that that's done best of that i'm gonna shower and see what the girl was talking about because yeah i need to i need to see what they're talking about y'all the makeup hack yeah 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 yeah, I, I like that. I like that a lot, okay? It's a little light, but I'm a little tan, so that's okay. But the blush, it's, and I have a pump right here. Don't look too hard. Also, the hair, it's a high, it just spices it up and I look like somebody. Like, you feel me? I also want to show y'all the outfit. Y'all, I just have on this tank top, which is from Target, and this skirt. It's shorts in the back, skirt in the front. It's too big, so it doesn't fit like it's supposed to. But I need to buy new clothes. I have already said this, so it is too big though. Um, but that's okay. It's still it's fine because I'm not like I said. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not doing anything. Um, but yeah, skirt, skirt. It's from Shein um yeah real simple but to highlight this look and make it look better because it looks so plain jane even though my face and my hair look good i still the outfit looks plain so to spice that up all you need is some jewelry and i love putting on some fancy gold earrings okay so throw these earrings in and i do have two holes so i'm going to put a earring in both and y'all this lightning light is literally from my window i do not have my 
room light on is strictly the window i film all my tiktoks just like this i have my curtains open and just have that's why i have blackout curtains in my room because baby this light is bright but it looks so good for videos like look at this look at the material and look at the earring you see what the earring just did yeah go put some, go put some earrings in your ear sis go put some freaking earrings in your ear also i'm going to use just some of these studs to put in my second hole i think i'm going to do these i think i'm going to put two chains on or i might just do this no no so for one i'm going to do this one that i got a while ago um it just has an a on it for my name obviously i want to wear somebody's initials anyways <laughs> um a for me Okay, the A. You see it, you see it. And then I'm gonna do this one. I might just put on a bunch of chains, honestly, because this outfit is so plain. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is the layering I needed. I wish I had some rings. I wanna be a ring girl, but. I don't have any rings. I don't have my nails did. That's makeup. But yeah, this is the look. Now I need a bag and some shades. Okay, a bag and some shades. Yeah, I like this. Okay, going vintage with this bag. Now shades. Gym, because I haven't worn gym in a while. Last time I wore gym was for the Met concert. Gym. Yeah, I think so. Even though gym is silver and have all this gold, who cares? I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna go gym. So you can see everything. So you can see the makeup, y'all. Please. Uh, I also need to do my lips, but that's soon come. Yeah, in love, in love, in love. Now shoes y'all i look so good like shoes skirts tank the vintage bag and <laughs> please oh, i forgot to put on fragrance can't forget that okay so i'm trying to get in my smell good era as well also i'm trying to decorate my house so yeah this is all yeah i'm trying to get my life together y'all that's why this is going to be a series because it's going to take a minute but i love this roll-on fragrance y'all because i just absolutely cannot do a lot of perfume i'm still gonna put perfume on, on top of it but the roll-on does its job as well and i'm gonna go with this scent bird scent i haven't ordered from scent in months y'all because obviously scent is expensive but this mark jacobs daisy Uso fresh i have been loving her paired with this um pink friday Nicki minaj oil okay y'all i am currently in hobby lobby trying to find some things for fall decor um but i feel like i'm missing so many key pieces already in my home that i just don't know what to pick up i don't want to pick up something that just doesn't fit with my aesthetic you know but like i don't really have a clear idea in my head quite yet so right now i just got a welcome mat and then i got two kitchen rugs that are black with gold trim it's definitely the theme i want it's black and gold that's my theme for fall and Christmas um, with a splash of a different a different color here and there. I want a like one of these. One of these to go on my island to put my candle and stuff on. Um, 
but I know which one I want. This one is thirty-two dollars. No, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm definitely ain't trying to spend that much on one. I see a bunch of them somewhere though. I just can't remember where I seen it. So now I gotta go, go back and find it. Let's see. They have this small one here. This gives. It's only twelve dollars, but they just give decor. I want a black one. The problem is, I want a black one, not that one. I don't want to be round. Oh, it's only $8, though. Oh. But um, I didn't want to get something I don't want. But, child, I forgot I'm also making a video on TikTok. They kind of flew out the window when I walked in here. But I need to finish that video for TikTok. I'm really in my TikTok bag, if you can tell. a very hard night but before we get into that let's get into my this package i just got in y'all so i am obsessed with candles and my home smelling good my home has to smell good okay so i got some new goodies i can't wait i've been ordering from this company for a really good minute now basically since i moved in i've been ordering from them i've used a lot of their candles and i got a bunch of new fall scents in so i'm gonna show you everything i got First, I got a Scarlet Apple hand wash because running out of wash I have now in my bathroom. This is for my bathroom. So, got Scarlet Apple with that. And then I just got one plug in. I have three. Well, technically, I have four plug ins in my house, but one of them is not with this brand. Like, the actual plug in is not with this brand yet. I need to buy one. I keep forgetting, though. But I just bought one because I do have some more plug ins already. So, I didn't, I didn't really need to buy a lot of these or restock yet. I just got the warm sneaker doodle. But this smells amazing. Yeah. I'm going to like that. I'm going to like that. Also, this is my first time ordering their room spray. I got the Old Town Lemonade. Oh, that spray is crazy. But I can't smell nothing. Yeah, that's going to be perfect for the bathroom. If you know, you know. This is going to be perfect for the bathroom. Then I got a couple of wax mills. I've been obsessed with wax mills since I've been in college. Y'all, and I have so many already. At one point I had way too many, but gotta keep them stocked because I like to smell different all the time. So I got the vanilla bean. I never had any of these before. I try not to repeat scents. Mm, not gonna like this one as much, but okay. Whipped caramel espresso. Ooh, ooh, that on the movie night is gonna be amazing. Then I got Scarlet Apple as well in the scent, so I hope I like this. Mm, yeah, this is perfect. I love that sweetness. I got a single wick candle because in my bathrooms, I keep single wicks. In my room and in my living area, I keep three wicks. So for my bathroom, I got Dragon Fruit Splash. Mmm, that's a perfect, oh my god, that's a perfect bathroom scent. And then I got two, three wigs, so I got sugar apple granola. And the packages on these are so pretty. Mm. Oh, I love that, oh, I love that. And ivory pumpkin. Oh my god, it smells like fall. I'm so excited for all my new fall goodies, y'all. I'm going to be ordering them keep ordering them because I like to keep stack and I already know I'm going to need some more plugins here soon so definitely gonna order some I literally have like four plugins all right y'all so listen 
I went out last night with my coworkers and I had a grand old time. I'm fixing a salad for dinner. I had a grand old time, okay? Like I had the best time. But a part of having the best time is that I drunk a lot of alcohol. I drunk multiple margaritas. That, okay, there's neither here nor there. It was a good time, okay? But I did drink a lot of alcohol. Over this morning though, I was not bloated. So I'm like, I'm like, cool. I'm the blow I mind you, I've been bloating for like two weeks. And it's a really such a daunting feeling because I'm like, bro, what else do I have to do? Like I cut out all the sweets and fried foods, but like I'm bloating so bad. Meanwhile, I was bloating because of mother nature. That's why I was bloating. Bloating at first. Okay, but it's not going down. Oh, this is not going down fast enough for me. So I'm like super thrown off. And so like I get to the gym. First of all, I'm getting to the gym super late and I'm already like, okay, I don't want to be here. I don't want to gym today, but I didn't go to the gym yesterday, obviously, because I was out with my coworkers having fun. So I didn't go to the gym. So I'm like, okay, you need to go to the gym today. You need to get a work in here. So I was like, I'm going to do just a simple full body workout so I just use machines and hit every every body part um which was fine I mean I didn't really sweat a lot I wasn't really like exhausting a lot of energy I guess I don't know but it's still I just didn't feel good so I want to take pictures and y'all the bloating is disgusting okay like absolutely disgusting this is not my usual salad bowl and baby everything is not fitting so I don't know how I feel about this. I might need to just wash my salad bowl because this is not gonna work. <laughs> okay, anyway, so the bloating is actually disgusting right now and it just made my mood go down so bad. Like, I just, it was like one thing after another. Today was not a bad day, but it feel like my brain is like, you should have a terrible day today. <laughs> so I'm gonna make you have a terrible day. So yeah, I am not in the best mood i don't even want to eat but like i'm hungry which is so crazy but like i'm telling you the bloating is so like mind blown because like what am i doing wrong like granted i ate out last night but usually i snap back really quick when it comes to my bloat i do not bloat as much now like since i did 75 hard last year the bloating is not bad for me at all like i literally saw my gut issues so to see Bloating for this long is really discouraging. Like I'm like so, so over. All I drink is water, like, but I have to give myself grace. Because like girl, you drunk four cups of margarita yesterday. Along with the Mexican food that you ate with it. Like of course you're gonna be bloated. You had alcohol. So yeah, I'm not feeling the best. I'm not in a good mood. So what for ending episode one on a good note, y'all. But like this is a part of growing up and like this is vulnerability like everything's not gonna be good everything's not gonna be help i'm not gonna be happy every single day so yeah i just this is gonna be a journey for sure but i'm dedicated to making it a good one so that's why i'm over here talking to y'all so i can hype myself back up and be like and give myself a little grace i need grace give myself grace grace grace, grace, grace. that's more the story so yeah, but if you made it all the way to the end of episode one, I don't know what I'm calling this yet, but y'all will see in the title, wherever the title said, that's what I'm calling it. If you made it through episode one, first of all, thank you. Make sure you leave a comment below because I comment back to everyone for sure. Um, and follow me on Instagram for sure because the pictures are so good on there and I don't get enough love, okay? But it's Instagram follow key. Anyways. Thanks for watching, y'all. Making it to the end. I hope y'all really enjoy this series as I go through and navigate life on the road to becoming 30. Because, baby, I'm going to be 30. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Anyways, thanks, y'all, for watching. See you later. Bye.